case briefs and so much more. LS data got what you're looking for. In the 1969 Supreme Court case Foster v. California, the main focus concerned the fair conduct of identification procedures during a criminal trial and the potential violation of the accused's constitutional rights. The lawsuit stemmed from an armed robbery at a Western Union office where the sole witness, Joseph Davis, was unable to positively identify the accused initially. However, after a second police lineup, the witness confirmed the petitioner's identity as the robber. The lower court ruled in favor of the conviction, but upon appeal, the Supreme Court decided to review the case based on concerns over the constitutionality of the police lineup procedures. The court ultimately concluded that these procedures were unfairly conducted, violating due process, as the witness was uncertain during the first lineup and only became convinced during the second, possibly suggestive, lineup. Subsequently, the court reversed the judgment and remanded the case for further proceedings, emphasizing that the suggestive identification procedures denied the accused their due process rights. While the court did not comment on the harmlessness of the error, this ruling underscored the importance of conducting fair identification procedures during criminal trials to protect the rights of those accused. Case briefs and so much more. LS data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsd.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.